We might have to do double pans, everybody. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do all this mash in here. No shizzle. Oh shizzle, guys. Shizzle my nizzle. Pardon the ability, everything. Hello, Lori, welcome back. All right, we're cooking with the Lotto King now, everybody. So we are gonna get started. We're gonna go ahead and use Pam. Pam, which is a sponsor of the channel. They love us. Thank you, um, ConAgra and Carl's dad who works at ConAgra and gets his cheap Pam. So what we're gonna do, we got some uh, pepper and onion stir fry. We're gonna do some pepper and onions. We're gonna kind of put these in here. We're gonna put the boys in here and have them start to, start to cook up. We're not gonna put the whole pan in there, but take the plastic out of the way. That would probably be a good idea. Thanks, Lori. <laughs> My brother had some, I'm gonna turn the fan on a little bit. I don't know what's underneath there. Hello, John, how's it going? Whew. Okay, so we're getting a little smoky up in here already. That's okay. So we're just gonna kind of let these guys cook in the pool a little bit. Then we're gonna throw the sausages in after. These will start to um, get smaller, more room in the pan. Hello, Lori. And then we're having Idaho and smoked bacon and mashed potatoes. These are instant because you know, I don't have a mixer, so I really can't make my own. So what are we doing? Two cups of water. So I need four cups of water because we're doing two packs. So let me go get my measurer. My measurer. Ah! Dad watch out, I'm throwing stuff on the floor. So hey, how much is this? This is four cups. Let's get some hot water. We're making sausages. Sausages and mash. And I will be doing a taste test live after this because Kenny's hungry. And since it's shitty outside, he's not going out there for a little while to get his pizza. So. All right, let's get that going on over here. Let's get these out of the way and we'll turn that on. The sausages seem to be leaking. It concerns me, but they're good. <sighs> We're making sausages, John. Sausages, and peppers and onions, and mash, which happens to be apple with smoked bacon mash. So I've got a chicken mix here, which we're gonna go ahead and just do this with some hot water. Kind of get that going on in there. It usually ends up just being like a water, but because I never follow the instructions, I just put hot water. You want some? All right, it's coming up. Only here at Cooking with the Lotto King. I should put this in the blender, but actually, oh, I have Carl's blender over here, but I don't. I used to have my own blender. So we're just gonna kind of go ahead and get this stirring while that goes. Actually, let's get a lid for this guy over here. The lids are hiding. Uh, this one's probably not big enough. No, it's too small. Another one over here. No. That's okay. It'll eventually boil. I'm not in a huge hurry. Hey, Firebird. I'm not in a huge hurry because we got to get the sausages done first, and this this water will start to boil. Let's go ahead and throw some salt in there. We'll throw a little salt in there and our water for the potatoes. Let's go ahead and get these boys turned it up in here a little bit. Get some peppers and onions going on. We'll throw some salt and pepper on those as well. That should leave some room in the pool then. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me everybody. Sorry about that. Woo, okay. So we got that going, that's going. Let's put the peppers and onions. Okay. Alright. So we's cooking. We's cooking. I'm hungry too, so like I said, we're gonna try some of this sausage. Mmm. Corn and butter. Absolutely. I don't do I have corn? I might even have corn over there. I know I always get yelled at because I never include a vegetable. I'm horrible, but Oh guys, you know what we forgot? Darn it, I have to go back to Wise anyway. 
We forgot berries. No wonder everything's been so cheap. I forgot berries, which costs like $8. So I have to go back to Wise later to cash in um, coins. So I know we forgot the berries. No wonder everything was so cheap. So yeah, I have to get berries. <laughs> but when I go back later to go to Coinstar, before I go get my pizza, I will um, do berries then. Oops. Oops, 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 oops. Hello, T. Welcome home. Welcome home to the Cooking with the Lotto King channel. I forgot my berries in this tea. You know, we're going to throw some garlic salt in here, too, just because we can. A little garlic in our peppers. I have coffee at work. I'm good on coffee. I thought I needed coffee, and then I'm like, no, I still have a box in my desk at work, so we'll be okay. Alright, so these boys and girls are kind of going over here in the pool and so we're just going to kind of let those guys over there. But we're going to go ahead and start to throw some of the sausages. This one's the sweet Italian sausage. We'll throw this one in first. I think there's room in the pool for these guys. I was going to start another pool, but I'm like, eh, hey, we'll just do two pools. You want some rice? No, we're doing mash. I was going to do rice, but I decided to do potatoes instead. I've done rice and sausage before. Eh, I'm just not in the mood for salt for rice. Weird. But, all right, we're going to get these boys in the poo. Which, actually, if I can find that big lid. Actually, do I even have that big lid anymore? No, I think that lid's gone. It does go good over rice, but we're doing potatoes. Because we can. We're going to turn this up a little bit. I should do some in the air fryer. Someone else said about doing it in the air fryer. Hey, what's up, Gina Cooper? We are making sausages. Since I was away in Las Vegas and stuff, I didn't have time to do cooking last night. So I'm like, I'll do cooking on Saturday. Which I was going to do a lottery stream like we usually do. But I'm like, I have too much stuff going on. So I'm like, I'm going to replace it with some cooking. Meal prep. I need to meal prep. Again, I forgot my berries at the store, so I have to go get berries then, guys. But again, I think I have, from Las Vegas and Reno, I probably have at least $30 in coins. So that $30 in coins will buy our $30 ticket tonight. So that's exciting. So I might spend a little bit more. Did I win big in Vegas? <sighs> no, I won big in Reno. Vegas pretty much took all the money that I won from Reno. But I played really hard. I only came home with 100 bucks out of my bankroll, which, you know, I had a pretty substantial bankroll. And, but to be fair, though, I used, I paid cash for all my meals. I paid cash for my hotel upgrade. I paid cash. I only, I only charged one meal that was only like $30, I think. Everything else was um, done via cash. So, and then like my massage and stuff, I paid with cash and comps and stuff. We did good, but oh no, it's falling over. But yeah, so again, so let's just look into the future here while we do this for the Lotto King channel. So just to give you all a heads up, um, so I go to Boston Thursday night, and then I come home Friday night. So there's going to be no live streams Thursday or Friday. Um, if my flight would be on time, I would do it Thursday, but my flight's never on time, and I don't want to set up a live stream, so... Because you left wherever your budget. Yeah, I came home with $100 of what I was going to spend. So it really was not that bad. I mean, it's what you plan on. I mean, it's vacation and gambling. So, um, so yeah, that's coming up next week. And then we're going into December. Um, I have no trips to Boston then until January. I have my nurse comes two times, I think. She comes here from New Jersey to do all our vitals and stuff. And then, um, so the Saturday before New Year's, I'm going to Atlantic City um, for like an overnight or on a Saturday. So what's in the cup? This is actually chicken gravy, which is just a chicken gravy mix. But all I usually do is just add a little water to it. And then, so it's like a very thin gravy, but yeah, it's gonna be fine. Over here, we got iced coffee, but. So yeah, so that I'm doing. And then Super Bowl weekend, I'm going to Las Vegas again for a super quicker overnight for some more fancy food, kind of like I did the other month. Um, other than that, I really have no trips planned so far for 2019, um, other than probably Vegas and Reno again over November. Those are going to be my big trips. But Boston, my trips to Boston are going to be taking a lot of my, at least half of my vacation time. So I'm trying to, you know, budget that accordingly. But... 
I celebrate my 15th year anniversary at my company, and once you get to 15 years, they give you an extra two whole days of vacation to use, so, and then I'm fully maxed out. I have a full 17 days now, so, which isn't a lot compared to a lot of companies, but they do provide a lot of other benefits, so it's not bad. And next month, I'll get I, you get like a crock, I think, that says you're for your 15 years of service. So that's exciting. Every, every, I think it's every five years after 15, you get like something. So yeah, that's exciting. So we got the peppers, onions going over there. Uh, we really need to get the water out of here. So I think once our sausages are done, we will um, get that going. You get 28 years off plus all the holidays except Easter. Well, that's pretty good tea. Yeah, I get the holidays too, but... Except I don't get a lot of the, I don't get all holidays, like, you know. Well, you work at the bank, though, right? So you get banker's hours, basically. So you get all the cool holidays off. Yeah, I don't get, like, like Veterans Day, and oh, I don't get all that stuff off. But for Thanksgiving, though, they do give you Black Friday, which is a holiday, which is nice. But Jumbo sausage. What kind? Pork sausage? I was going to call this bangers and mash, but I don't. I've never had bangers and mash, so I can't tell you what it's actually like. But... I am hoping next week, if our flight is on time, me and mom are probably gonna go to the hotel restaurant and get, um, they have these, oh, they're such good, they're big steaks. We had it last time, so we were so full. So, but hopefully if our flight gets in on time, it gets there at like 6.30, we'll have time to pig out. Yeah, because the clinical trials still pay you $58 a day in food for travel, so. Yeah, they get Black Friday as a holiday at my company, which is nice. Which is why I always go to Vegas, because all I have to do is take three vacation days to get a nine-day holiday. So, yeah. I do it every year. I've done it for years. Everybody knows that Black that week of Thanksgiving is Kenny's week, so. I'll put it over Sprites. So good. Oh, that's good, yeah. These peppers are just kind of here to complement the sausages. Once we plate them then, though, we'll go over top of there. But I thought about throwing them in the air fryer, but um, again, we're just gonna cook it this. We're gonna cook it old school. How's our water looking for our mash? It's still not boiling yet, but that's fine because there's no big hurry. Because again, we have a whole nother round of sausages to go because I have hot sausage as well as sweet sausages. I know T knows, T's got it going on, but Kenny, Kenny, I'm just a bachelor cook in here. I mean, I have minimal, I have minimal cooking skills. My mother taught me some things, but most of my stuff from high school home ec, so. And tea Southern, too. Do you make a good sweet tea, tea? Don't get mad if I start talking like I'm from the South. Because, well, I hope later here now, I'm going to do, oh, don't get pissed off. I'm not making fun of anybody, so I love the southern accent. But I do the Mama June southern accent when I make my video. You're having some sweet tea? I do the southern accent because my honey boo boo and Mama June, she gets sassy. I talk like this, and people get offended but because over there, that channel, people are like, talk normal, asshole. But I like talking like Mama June because I love sausage. Brandon's back. Um, so I talk like this. So Josh is excited because we're going to talk about Caitlyn Jenner and Honey Boo Boo and stuff. That's all my afternoon. After this, I have to make that video, so. I know, that doesn't even sound like a Southern accent. It kind of sounds like, um, Paula Dean, maybe a little bit. I don't know. Josh knows because Josh watches me over there. He thinks that I have the hots for Caitlyn Jenner, but I'm just very intrigued by her situation. So did her house get burned down or is she okay? Someone told me that was a lie and her house did not get burned down, but... I know you don't talk like that. I used to come to Nashville all the time and it's a very nice accent. I really overdo it, but people get so pissed. <laughs> Even mom... So but every time I talk about something, it has to do... I'm like, yeah. When you want Kaylin, you bend you down. We already know. I know exactly. Kaylin Jenner is hot for 65. What is she, 68? Nashville is country country. Yeah, but North Carolina, though, yeah, it's not. Because when we went down there to Cherokee, no, everyone's just friendly. Everyone is friendly, which is nice. They were nice in Las Vegas, too, but I think they were bowing down to me. But <laughs> Gina Cooper, are we talking about Kaylin Jenner? Okay, so... 
For all you don't know, I have another YouTube channel. It's called, just look up the Coupon King. That's me every Saturday. Most Saturdays I make a video just talking about Caitlin and the Duggars. And... You need to order you cut out. I know, for the cut out of Caitlyn Jenner. I don't, but they didn't have Jumbo sausages. That sounds like a UK thing. Why are my sausages not getting brown yet, everybody? I even have it turned up. We might have to turn it up a little bit. So what I thought about doing is taking the sausages and throwing them in the air fryer now for a couple minutes. But yeah, Kenny goes super gay on Saturday afternoons. Because usually what happens is I go get my pizza and I have some wine with it. So I'm kind of like a chick with my wine. We talk about shit over there. I've actually, some of those videos have really taken off and I'll get like 20,000 views, but most of you only get like 100 if that. That's right. Guys, my stove is dirty. Don't mind it. I'm sorry. Um, again. I've been away for a week. Carl did a pretty good job of keep taking care of the place, but the stove's kind of dirty. You know, I don't stand for this shit. Two sausage in, oh, that's cool. Okay, our sausages are starting to get done. I'm starting to get scared because the boys in the pool here are starting to get round and sticking together. We might eventually take the boys off and throw the boys in back later. I don't think they need to be in with the hot sausage, but we might take the peppers out. I know, there is too No, I don't know if there's enough liquid, like the quinta. It's getting there now. They're starting to brown. But I'm worried, though, that the boys in the pool are not... They're going to get too done. So I think we're going to take the majority of those out boys in the pool and we'll set these aside for now so we can get these sausages to brown up I don't want these to get overdone I make you giggle Woohoo! we're gonna leave a couple boys in there but the majority of the boys these are gonna go back later as like an accent to the sausage we need to get these babies brown because I'm fairly certain inside now they are done just gotta get these brown All measuring comes from Pyrex. Damn right. I love my Pyrex magic maker. So, but yeah, but my trip though, I had a blast. I had so much. It was a lot of fun. I didn't get to do any slotting with Diana this year because every time I went to her, she was not there. But we enjoyed dinner and lunch. It was very fun. What would be my perfect girl? Well, she has to respect that I'm the Lotto King. She has to respect that I'm the Coupon King. Um, and a lot of people, when I send them YouTube videos, they think it's weird. So they have to understand that. They have to be cool with gambling. They have to be cool with going to Las Vegas for a week. Uh, yes, well, not a ton of free drinks. Again, Gina, I'm on the clinical trial, so I can only have like one drink a day. Two days, I bend the rules, and I had champagne, and then I had a drink later in the day. But other than that, I did not. But they make great iced coffee, I figured out, in the casinos. Do you know where I got the nicest coffee at? Which you'll see a picture of it when I complete my video that I'm going to post that of all my pictures. The Wynn has a fancy as fuck iced coffee. It was amazing. I know, tea's kind of up there. I think we can make it work. I know probably one of you women on my YouTube channel might end up being my perfect woman. But as I tell other people, everyone's like, well, why don't you have a girlfriend? I'm like, I'm trying to take care of myself. Taking care of myself is freaking hard opposed to trying to take care of somebody else. So we got to take care of ourselves. And then, you know, if, if the right one comes along, hey, Gina Cooper is single. All right, let's go. We we'll go out, Gina. That's cool. Oh, she wants to know, uh, it doesn't matter to me, a hair color, I'm not that, um, yeah. Kenny is gay, he don't want girls, Kenny's a man. <laughs> no, Josh, I'm not interested, well, Caitlyn Jenner, if Caitlyn Jenner came along, maybe, but other than that, no. I can't take care of them either, so. Yeah, me and Michelle have been dating, we've been going steady now for years. How's your Middlesworth potato chips going, Michelle? When did you finish those? About three months ago, probably. <laughs> so what's cool, Michelle, is like I say, 
Middlesworth potato chips. They're actually in the town I work in, and one of my coworkers goes there and buys like boxes of them. I should get you some. What? You thought I was gay and dating Robert? Who the hell's Robert? I'm lost. I mean, Robert sounds like a nice guy, but. Your subs, everything? Yeah, I not. I sound like I'm gay, though. I listen to my some of my things where it comes. When, I I'm very. I have a very feminine voice, which makes me sound gay. Because I remember one of my mom's coworkers. I went to visit her one day. She's like, he's very feminine. I'm like, oh boy. And then I start going, yes, I am. I'm very feminine. I can talk like that too. I can't even give a fuck. Kaylin, no! Kaylin Jenner's got a banging transsexual girlfriend, which I don't understand either. We're gonna call these done. Well, they're not super done, but they're gonna be good. Can you explain the coupon king shit? What do you mean explain the coupon king shit? I started watching the extreme couponing show on TLC a long time ago. That got me into couponing. Carl actually couponed with me for a while too at the beginning. Because we're like, oh, this is cool. And then I did it. They are not cooked. Yes, they are. They're fine. I'll I'm going to eat one here later. I'll show you. They're fine. That's how I like mine. I like my dongs not very... <laughs> I don't like my dongs very black. Single, he's probably gay. Really, Josh? Huh. Well, there you go. I guess I'm gay, everybody. Josh said I'm gay. Gay. If gay means that I'm happy, I'm happy. Okay, here's what we're gonna do with these sausages, everybody. I got a surprise for you. We're gonna throw them in the air fryer and then we're gonna make them done. I think that's gonna make them nice and crispy. So I have to clean up the air fryer basket because Scratch Me Up never cleans the air fryer basket. We're gonna toss them in the air fryer and then they'll be great. Yeah, this is what we're gonna do. Because I need to get these boys in the pan or I'm never gonna get these things cooked. I think our potatoes are ready to go. He never checks out girls, guys. <laughs> yes, Josh, I'm always checking out the fellas. Because every time I'm talking to Josh on Facebook, he's like, I'm always talking. He never swipes right. <laughs> uh, Josh is a hater. Josh the hater. Okay. Well, guys, our basket's not bad, but I'm gonna clean it out real quick, and then we'll throw this in there. But every time I talk to Josh, we're always talking about dudes and stuff. He's like, well, I keep good looking. Yeah, all time. I think Josh is gay too because he's always commenting too about how good these look. These guys are looking like, yeah. All time. It's okay to be gay. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Josh. All right, let's get these sausages in the air fryer. Our potatoes are ready. Let's see in there. I don't know how long to put them in the air fryer for. I don't want to burn them, but we're going to go ahead put that on there. Beep! Alright, well, uh, what are we gonna do? We'll do pork. Oh no, now I'm burning the place down. Oh no! My cooking is got the smoke detector. Hey, at least the smoke detector still works. Woo! We are turn the fan on. <laughs> There's a fire in the house! I gotta turn my meat! I got so much stuff going on right now. Hold on. The fire in the house! Really? I want to see those pictures, Josh. She's a wrong girl. Oh, Josh. I mean, that's cool, but you're always talking about the dudes, too. Oh, shit! Burned down the house! I've even got the fan on high. We got them to turn, they're turned, don't worry. 
Why is my water not boiling? This shit needs to get iron. It keeps like trying to boil, but it can't. Turn the heat down. Uh, we'll turn the heat down. Someone call the ambulance. Because we're going to throw them in the air fryer too, so. Someone call the ambulance. Someone call the ambulance. A lot of kings burning down the house. Don't worry, we're going to put them in the air fryer. It's cool. Yay, Josh sent me a video of him banging a woman in a grandstand. I can't watch it till later, Josh, but I can't wait. That's okay, we do Cajun cooking around here. It's fine, they're good. Yes, I love my air fryer, except we did chicken wings and Joe said that I could put a lot of chicken wings in it and it did not work good and we had to finish them, but. Yes, I make steaks in my air fryer all the time. Usually on Sunday, I'll go to the store and buy, like, they usually have, like, cheap cuts of meat, you know, that have the meat coupons on them. I take them home and air fry them that night. Oh, they're so good. Kenny likes cheap meat, yo. These are hot sausages, but I tell you, in the air fryer, they'll be fine. We're going to put them in there a couple minutes. We're going to check them to make sure we don't want to burn them in the air fryer. Josh is a perk. And then Josh is like, show me gambling, show me gambling. And I told him I couldn't because I was playing video poker and I couldn't hold my drink, hit push the buttons. He called me at the Cosmopolitan. I'm like, so I'm like, I can't show you anything, but hello. You know, and then he eventually hung up, but. I was like, you can't make me do things. I'm my own independent person. Guys, but I've never cooked sausage though. Hey, what's up, Georgia Night Rider? I've never cooked sausage that hasn't been done. Like chicken all the time, but. Hey, what's up, Dave? Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank, thank you. We're gonna commence the gambling tonight. Congratulations on your video poker win, man. That was awesome. I never got a chance. I only played single line video poker when I was in Vegas, but. They have the multi line, but I could not find them, or the, you know, the multi games that go that high. I found ones that do 10 hands, but not those are the specific machines that do the 100, 100 ones. I don't know if we're going to have to put these in the air fryer. These guys are frying up pretty nice, but we still might put them in there for a round. So you can still see some pink on the back side. $20 per 40. This is nice. That's awesome. Yeah, when you're dealt it. Hell yeah. I never got a quad one time on video poker. And I spent like an afternoon at the Cromwell at the bar. I was drinking. I was having a good time. And I played $100 through video poker. Net one quad. I got some three of a kinds. But... We're having the sausages and mash. Which is turning into be a good time. The smoke detector just went off, and yeah. Yeah, yeah that's cool, Dave. Yeah, definitely. That would suck to mess that up. I know the one time I got a quad dealt to me, and I had to ask the bartender, I'm like, is this right? They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, Robert? Oh, we're cooking. We went shopping this morning. I still forgot my berries. We're making some food. Uh, he's making moonshine. Nice. Let's check our air fried. Sausages are still good. We're actually gonna turn up the temp a little bit on those babies. We'll go up to 400 degrees because I want to get those really crispy. I know we're making mashed tape. Uh, when is this water ever gonna boil? I think it's done though. Let's go ahead and uh, put these potatoes in there, take it off and make some instant taters. Instant taters. Is how much I don't put any oil in mine. Some of them they say you're supposed to add oil, but I don't do any oil. They work decent with no oil. At least one that I have, but Alright, cut the heat on that. We're gonna pull those off of there. Robert isn't gay, well that's good. How do you make them? Here, I'll show you. I, there's a video on my channel about my air fryer. It actually makes a lot of money. I mean, the wings that I did, I put too many in, but yeah, I just coated them with egg and, uh, you know, some wings. I basically just used crumbs, but you can get, like, the wing stuff, you know, like shake and bake almost. Shake and bake works pretty good. 
Yeah, apparently, Robert, I'm gay because I'm 34 and I'm not, I don't have a girlfriend and I'm not married, so. And Robert is kind of gay. Huh. Good. It's 2018, though, so even if I was, who gives a shit? But I don't have time for guys either, so. Yeah, Robert's 52, and he's always denied the, the Patreon strip shows, so hell yeah. Yeah, Dave's 40, not married, and Gina's 28. Yeah, and I'm happy as shit. Just because I'm obsessed with Caitlyn Jenner doesn't make me gay. All right, how are these sausages doing over here? So basically, everyone here is gay. Butter. No, that's instant. You don't have to add anything to those. Actually, you're supposed to add milk, but I don't because I don't have milk, so... Because we're going to end up actually, you know what we could do is we can put some of the gravy in there. I'm going to add some gravy so it gives it a little texture. Yeah, Josh, you have a few more years, but apparently you're banging women in the grandstand. So. We'll put a little gravy in there. That'll kind of fluff her up a little bit. I'm excited, guys, to eat some of this because I'm actually hungry. All right, guys, we are going to turn off these. I don't even think these need to go in the air fryer because these babies are done. You went to whisk them. I don't even know if I have a whisker. All right, guys, look at these. These are done out of the air fryer. Those are done as well. I don't think we're air frying the other one. So these have been air fried. So these are sweet. Let me unplug that. So those are sweet and these are spicy. Now the sausage are fine. I'm gonna eat them. Exactly, Robert. They do look good. Everything's going to be great. We're going to taste test them too, yo. Because we have enough to eat lunch and meal prep. But we're going to meal prep first, and then what's left, we're going to have lunch. Let's put this back there to simmer. That's done. I deserve to keep those warm. All right, kids. Everything's hot here. So we're going to have to probably make some room over here on the counter. Is Brian Christopher gay? Yes, very gay. Not very gay as in, yeah, but no, he's gay. He's got a boyfriend. My apartment sounds amazing. Carl's a vegan. He's vegetarian. He's going to love it. I know she's shocked and proud. It's going to be amazing. Let's see what the final dish looks like. Isn't he married to? Oh, he's a hubby. Yeah. Okay. Robert, are we going to use big plates or small plates? Uh, well, you have the onions, too. Um, let's do four of the big plates. We'll do big plates. It's super hot. Super hot. Okay. Corn with butter. I don't have any corn, nor do I have butter, so you're not getting that. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh my god, I lost my sausage. Oh my god, I'm losing my sausages. Ew, look how ugly it makes the plate look. It looks like someone pooped on it or something. All right, every, everybody gets two of these. Where am I putting these at, guys? I don't know. I need counter space. We'll put this in the can. My food looks good. Well, thank you. Okay. You got a thumb drive? Is that a thumb drive, Robert? That's cool. So uh, we'll put the sausages over there. Sausages, Robert, you have some Tupperware. 
No, Robert does not need to give me Tupperware. I have Tupperware. But when we do meal prep, we put it on actual plates. Because we classy as fuck over here. Yes, we're now serving our 12, what time is it? Our 1.15 reservations, we'll take you early. Okay. This food looks amazing. Plus I've got the peppers, which will accent on the side. I wish everything would cool down a little bit here. Okay, so we're gonna have this for lunch. We're gonna eat these and taste test them here shortly. All right, everybody gets a little mash. Oh, mash, 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 mash. And how much depends on how much I actually end up plating on all of these, but that should be good. And it's gonna be a mukbang time too. I know. I don't know if I have anything else to talk to you all about, but we'll try. We're gonna have a mukbang. <sighs> yeah, I actually do do it, Robert. Yeah, but I can't. I've sworn to secrecy. It's actually going to be cool where she's moving to, I can tell you that, but that's all I'm going to say. All right, see you, Dina. Thanks so much, and if you're interested in gambling, we're going to be gambling later tonight. We're doing lottery tickets, PA skills. Should be a good 10. Oh, okay. All right, see you, Georgia. Oh. I can't say, Robert, I can't say. I can't even give you a hint. All right, guys, I'm not gonna end up with many mashed potatoes for myself, I don't think. I'm overplating these bad boys. All right, kids. Okay. So. I gotta do some dishes then, everybody, because we've got a mess on this stove. But we're gonna mukbang first. Mukbang first, dishes later. We're gonna take a little bit of this gravy, and we're actually gonna put a little bit more gravy on our potatoes. Just a little bit, it's very liquidy, so it's just gonna provide some extra flavor. Chef Lotto King, ooh, that one I got a little much. Chef Lotto King is proud of his meal that he's made here. And then we're gonna have a little peppers and onions. On the side, we're gonna accent it with some peppers and onions. Like, we're freaking fancy as fuck right here. <laughs> fancy as fuck. Oh no. I gotta save a little bit for me. I need peppers and onions in mine too. They would be a sweet couple. Wow, wow, wow. That's funny. All right, that's that. I am actually gonna get pizza, but it's gonna be a late pizza. Uh, yeah, I don't mind the unthick gravy. It's just kind of like a, um, it's just an accent. Okay, let's go over here. And we're gonna do a mukbang and see how it goes. I think it's gonna turn out great. That's good right there. You're welcome. L Lotto King inspirational meal. We'll pour some gravy in that bad boy. All right, let's go. I gotta take you over here. I'm gonna get a new fork because I don't know where that's been. The fines are where the cat, I'm not saying I wanna be gay. No, but people at work though, they have no clue. They're like, are you gay, are you straight? Cause I always say all these things and I'm like, I like to leave them in mystery, but oh gosh, my table. Like, guys, I haven't even gone for my mail yet that I got in the last week. It's been madness. All right. Oh, excuse me. He's a switch hitter. Maybe. That's okay. I'm not sure. Regardless of what I am, I don't have time for anybody. So. Yeah, except myself. Ooh, that's going to be too hard. Being by it is anything's okay. It's 2018. All right, let's dig into this bad boy and see what we got. You're gonna get a first person mukbang. We're gonna cut into these bad boys. I think this one's the spicy. This one's definitely done. Mm. 
pretty good. Yeah, that's a spicy one. Let's kick it with a little sweet. <laughs> well, you can come and cook for me. Buen provecho. What does that mean? I took Spanish, but only three years and I was never good at it. <laughs> no, but I wait till we gotta see what's hot on Caitlyn Jenner for my video. Wow, I don't know, Robert. That's gonna be tough. Oh, it's Bon Appetit. Okay. Which is a Bon Appetit French, so it goes. That's interesting. Ooh, those potatoes are good with the sausages. Coupon gang's gonna be super gay. But I usually have pizza with my wine, so I don't know how this is gonna go. I might not have wine for the video. We'll see, we'll see. It's raining now, I don't know if it's freezing, but I have to check the radar then, but. Oh, it's like this. No more gay talk. Well, tune into the coupon king. He's gonna be talking to are we gambling today? We are, six o'clock Eastern time. We're doing tickets and PA skills. Not till tonight though. I'm actually hot in here. I think I can take that off now. Woo, this kitchen is banging. I have to go to Puffs and say hi to Paul Puff because it's been a week, but I don't know when this shift ends. Where are you? I know I don't have any greens, Eduardo. I get yelled at for not having greens all the time or any vegetables, but there's peppers and onions in there, so that counts. Flush paper towels down the toilet. Mm, if you want to clog your septic system, sure. I've done it before, but you don't want to do it a lot. I know, it was freaking freezing out there earlier, Robert, trying to walk in, I almost fell in my ass, so. I have to go out then to get lottery tickets for tonight, but I'm waiting a while. I saw that Cody killed the pepper, but that was awesome. Yeah, they're creamy, they're good. I mean, they're not like homemade or anything, but when you put the gravy on it, uh, yeah. Ooh, guys, we have to go through my casino mail here. Hey, we'll do that before I leave. But I still have half an episode of 90 Day Fiance to watch, which I think I'm gonna do tonight after the live stream. And then tomorrow there's a new episode. I'm so excited. I don't have a tank. I got sewers and I ran out of pee. Huh. That sucks. So you have sewer though, but still, that's still going to clog the line. Your main line to wherever your poo's going. Hmm. Oh, Robert's gonna tell Josh what he just bought. We're talking about putting toilet paper or paper towels down the toilet. I want to, what did you buy? BB 2000 bidet. Oh, did you get a bidet? Those are fancy. I've always wanted to get one of the fancy ones they have in Vegas at like Aria, but I never stay there. So. Ooh, it's the Rolls Royce one. <laughs> I remember scratching me off. His girlfriend took him to this motel that had a bidet and he was like sending me pictures of it and stuff. He's like, I don't know how to use it. But, yeah, but it's gonna be amazing, Robert. I'm glad you're spending your money on awesome things like that. Buen provecio. That's right. That's what you should do, Robert. Screw gambling. Watch my channel and watch me lose my money. I feel that way. Sometimes there's things that I want and I'll just buy it. And then it kind of puts gambling on hold, but it's okay. Like, I soon need to get a new... Oh, I'm, I want to see this. I soon want to get a new pair of shoes. 
because my I'm already getting a hole in it. I have to buy the exact same model, and depending on if they're on sale or not, they're almost like eighty dollars. So I'm gonna have to buy one and a little less gambling, but. So are you sitting on it right now, Robert? So hold on, hold on. So just so you all know, Robert has a little office in his bathroom. So are you sitting on it right now? Oh, it comes tomorrow, oh, okay. This is gonna be the perfect addition to your office. Like you can use the bidet over there, come over, watch. I'm so jealous. And Robert's retired too, so he's got the best of both worlds. I mean, Robert really does have it made. I mean. His little setup there is awesome. Yeah, it's freaking so cool. When I grow up, I want to be like Robert. He is single. You should move in on that, T. <laughs> he can provide you a lifestyle of a bidet, and then, like, if you want to go watch the Lotto King, you just step over here in the closet. He's got the Lotto King YouTube page as his home page, I bet. <laughs> What's up, Bonnie? No, it's 2018, Bonnie. But days are not for women because it'll do front, back, and air dries and stuff. Us men like a nice little wash and dry as well. But yeah, it's Las Vegas. La okay. So in a nutshell, gambling-wise, Reno is amazing, Las Vegas. Las Vegas is tough, opposed to Reno. I did amazing in Reno, then I lost it in Vegas, but yeah. We like to get our bippy clean, too. No, he, Robert, is, he's got it made. He doesn't even have to go to work. He just hangs out in his bidet, and it's got a heated freaking seat. I'm coming over. <laughs> Is Kenny answer being gay? It's 2018. Yeah, if you want to be a trainee, you can be one too. You leave it in Kuwait? Okay, yeah. I mean, it's a mainly a woman thing for obvious reasons, but, um, yeah. And did I just say trainee? That is so offensive. Transsexual, I'm sorry. And anyone out there who's offended. Mm -mm -mm. So I'm going to Robert's house and using the bidet. Robert! Okay, this would be weird. Um, can I do a review of the bidet sometime? So we're going to set up plans. We're going to go to Hogs Hollow and try out more wings. And then we get Jess to come too, maybe, if she's up here. We can go to your house and do it. I can do a review of the bidet. But I don't know how I want to do it though. I mean, do I actually have someone seated and they use it? And then, no, you, you can give me an interview and you can give me a testimonial. That'd be awesome. <laughs> so we'll just show how it uses. No one's going to sit on it. But then after, we can do a testimonial. We have to make sure it's 10 minutes so we can add extra ads. Put plastic over top. Yeah! We could use a blow up <laughs> Yeah, this has to get done. It's got a remote control, that's amazing. And then Robert can do a testimony on how much it changed his life. See, we have to do that. One of these weekends, it's not shitty outside. I'll make the haul over there and we'll do this. Once you get it though, I need you to see how you like it. I don't want you to give a false testimonial for the company. A bidet mukbang! So what if your balls dangle and the jet comes? It tickles. You probably can't make as good a child, but <laughs> it tickles. No, I love our conversations here. Yay! It's gonna have a clean eyes. That's awesome, Michelle. My coworker has her C-section in three weeks, right before Christmas. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm so jealous, Robert. I can't. I have to hear. It's definitely a great bunch of people, yeah. Well, of course it's going to have the heater, yeah. So did I tell you about my massage? 
they put a freaking, they heat up your bathrobe and they lay it over top of you and you put on your heated, heated bathrobe, it's amazing. Oh yeah, forget about it. This will not monetize. The last one's not going to monetize either because I was singing uh, freaking Tina Turner. What's love got to do, got to do with it? I'll sing that and see if I get a copyright if I sing it. Oh my god, do I have that? No. Remember, I used to have the Wii game where you could sing along and it was like karaoke. I don't think I have the microphone anymore, but that would be a bitch in live stream. I need, no, I think my Wii doesn't even work anymore, but yeah, they put the bathroom over, then they give you a happy ending. <laughs> APA Redneck. So, Robert, go to your potty room. Um, well, you may be there now. Check the radar. What's the freezing rain looking like? Is it, is it changing like in my area? I need to know. But I think I'm just going to chill here for, I might not go out until like 4. Because before every live stream, like at like 5, 15, I go to Sheets and I get iced coffee. So I usually do two separate trips. So maybe 3.30. We'll give it two hours. That's tradition. And then sometimes I'll stop at Puffs and blow $20 in skills. But usually, I don't know. You're getting snow in Chicago, boo. Okay, we can do it, Josh. That's fine. I don't have any plans in January other than I go to Boston for a couple days, but as long as it's not connected to that trip. But obviously, it would be on the weekend. But Where are we going? Are we going to Atlantic City? You go to Atlantic Are you still diamond status? Shoes, you may have some ice now. Boo! We had ice earlier. End of January. Okay, yeah, my appointments are almost the end of January, but we'll figure it out. I think it's the weekend, the weekend before um, the end of January. So if you make it for like the last weekend, I think you might be okay. But you have to reserve me early because I'm very popular. Oh, wait a minute. No, is that Super Bowl weekend? I can't go Super Bowl weekend because I'm going to Las Vegas with Sufak for the weekend, but. I did, Bonnie. It was such a bummer. I went to bed. I pretty much kept an East Coast time, except I went to bed later. Most nights I was in bed by 9. Um, I was in bed. Now, it's only going to be a weekend trip. I'm literally going to be low rolling. I'm mainly just going to eat the good food that he has. But, um, yeah, I went to bed by 9, and I woke up at between 4 and 5 every day. So It was fun, though, to start because the gaming day on Caesars Entertainment starts at 6 a.m. So usually I had enough time. I got a shower. I was downstairs, boom, at six. So I was just started gambling for a new day for the comps. And Cromwell sucked because Cromwell was a small casino and they only had two Buffalo and I wasn't winning. So I ended up walking over to Planet Hollywood in Paris the last two days. But it was early, but again, I went to bed early, so it, it all worked out. It was kind of a bummer, but I slept 10 hours last night and today. All the way to Lewisburg, well, bummer. Is there a special book live stream for my birthday to celebrate one year since the first book we made? Am I? Do I have to buy a book? Sexy kitty time! Buffalo, no, Buffalo does not blow. Buffalo blows in Vegas. Buffalo was good in Reno. The pictures that I posted, you can't deny. But again, and I have many more. I have some short little videos that I did. I'm gonna. I'm making a vid, a movie, like sort of like a video, which I'm either gonna work on it tonight or tomorrow. But it's got like all of the pictures I took, so that you didn't see. Because I have a, I have a message, a forum that I run that um, people over there I was posting for, which I don't publicly advertise because it's a, it's a uh, basically member funded site, and I don't want to just like let all these people in. But yeah. I should have stayed in Reno, but I had to go to Las Vegas for Thanksgiving. All right, guys. Well, Kenny's got to put this food away. He's got to clean up the whole kitchen. I got to do some dishes. And then I'm going to be done. I got a couple other things I need to do. Um, I got to talk about Caitlyn Jenner. And then I eventually have to get to the store to get lottery tickets and stuff. It's been a year since. Oh, is that the, the Fruit Loot one? 
It has to be a $3 book, though. That was fun. But it's got to be fan-funded, though. And I'm also to 4,000 subscribers soon. My Facebook page has gained 400 likes. I was going to do a fanfare thing about it, but the last 100 people that I think have liked it are from freaking Nigeria, and I get messages all the time like, hello, I never respond to them. I ban them immediately from the page because I know it goes nowhere. January 21st. I go to Boston, I think, then. Yeah. Did it watch? I did. It was. It's rigged, obviously, low roller. Did you think that was real? Yeah, I watched some of it on the plane yesterday. I would hope no one thought that that was real. All right. Thank you, Belinda. Yes, maybe see you later. Enjoy your day. I think I'm just going to end the live stream. It's like the big check. Oh, Jesus. All right, let's look at my casino mail quick. Did you buy a life insurance policy with them? No, I did not. <laughs> All right, what are we getting? Mount Airy, $2,500 holiday swipe and win. Um, it's okay, Robert. There hasn't been too many, but they've been coming in. Um, Big Apple New Year's Eve party. Enjoy a free dinner at the buffet. Then join us for the Big Apple New Year's Eve party in the wet ultra pool. Robert, did you get this invite to Mount Airy? We got an invite. We got an invite to, ooh, Mount Airy. We apparently are high rollers. I'm a high roller. I got an invited to get a free buffet. Are we going, Robert? I'm actually, I don't know. Well, no, I never, I have to, I can't because I have to do the Lotto King live stream here. Um, American Express is giving me 50,000 membership points. Welcome offer. The new American Express gold card. Is this one of these fancy ones you have to pay for? I don't need another credit card because I already have too many, but I'm actually doing good with my Discover card, and I got my new city one. I've been just putting shit on them and paying them off every month like a good boy. I knew you were at the casino. Yeah, it's Mount Airy, though. They're not giving me a hotel room, though. They're just letting you come, and then you got to say, fuck you, you got to drive two hours home. But... Oh, I'm sure they are full already. Ooh, American Express Gold Card. How do I apply for this? How do I even... I don't know. With all my big D shit on my credit, my freaking credit sucks these days. You need an Amazon Prime credit card, you get free money to buy shit. Yeah, the Discover card that I have has been pretty good too. They give you cash back. We've got Mohegan Sun Processing Center. This is time sensitive for me. Let's see what it is. They're probably giving me a personal loan. Oh my, Simple Path Financial. Take the simple path to the loan you need, do I? They're going to give me, oh wow, $905 a month. Fuck you. I'm not paying $900 for a month. I don't pay. I like small, low monthly payments. I'm stepping in to say hello up in the air now. I have a really, really bad connection on my phone. It is freezing on this plane. I forgot to bring a chip blanket. I did bring a jacket. You should. You got over 500 free money back? Nice. All right, the cool thing is on American Express, I have enough for a travel credit now, so. New Harris, New, Lo New Orleans, not going to get down there. Oh, what's this? Sands. Sands wants to give me a BMW. That's cool. They're probably giving me free play. $20 weekly slot play. Yeah, let's go to Sands. That's fun. Okay, what's this? Free, 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 free. Ooh, Mohegan Sun, Robert. We can stay for free. Are you? I still am. I'm currently in Las Vegas right now. They fed me lunch, breakfast, dinner, and don't tell about Low Roller. I wanted to mess with them. Oh, Josh. Because I wanted to tell them that I'm still in a hotel. And they fed me breakfast, lunch, dinner. They gave me champagne and cheese all day long as long as I wanted it. Because apparently Low Roller thinks you get all this stuff at any hotel. Even if you stay at like a Motel 6, apparently. All right, that's all the tr the mail, everybody. So I really got nothing important this whole week that I was gone. I thought I'd get more bills from the hospital. I'm gonna owe like a shitload of money, so I'm kind of waiting for them all to come in. Oh, that's right, I need to write a check to the freaking psychiatrist that I'm not seeing now because they want to charge me like $1,000. My insurance won't pay for it. It's a hot mess, everybody. All right, you get your free Xbox. I'm gonna go before Low Roller comes back. Oh, poor Low Roller. I don't know, but... <laughs> oh, guys, I didn't get any snacks either. I have to go back to Wise then. I'm going to catch my coin star. It's already 1.30. I need to get crack a -lacking. We're going to let this rain hopefully not 
we just let it be rain and then I'm gonna go. So I will see you all today at six o'clock. We're gonna have tickets and then we're gonna go play PA skills. It's gonna be a good time. I'm gonna be debuting the new five and the new 30 tickets, some ones maybe. I got free beef jerky when I was in an arena at the one casino. They gave me $10 in comps. So I went to the freaking store and I bought a bag of jerky. I bought some breakfast stuff. It was good. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm waiting a while, Robert. So then I'm going to go back out. So I will see you all later. 6 o'clock Eastern. Enjoy your afternoon. Thanks for tuning in. Peace.